Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. Battling unbelief is key to obtaining God's promises. We get to choose what we believe in, but it will be a fight. We're reading today from Mark chapters 9 and 10, and the verse of the day is from Mark 9, verse 23. But Jesus said to him, If you can, all things are possible for the one who believes. In context, the transfiguration of Jesus had just happened with Jesus, James, John, and Peter, and they had just come down from the mountain. Don't you wish mountaintop experiences could last forever? But when we come down from the mountain is where we can use the fuel from the mountain and apply it to our lives. Jesus was telling his disciples that anything is possible. After what they had just witnessed on the mountain, we would think they would be believing this fully. But the mountain that stood in front of them seemed impossible. The disciples could not cast out a demon in the demon-possessed boy. We will hit hard spots in our walk too with God where we're faced with our inability. Even then, God is able. From mountain to mountain in this life, God enables us to triumph, but it will require trusting His ability to help us to overcome the mountain more than our own ability. We can be so jaded by the reality of life that we just don't leave much space for faith. We limit God when we try to put Him in a box. But truly, all things are possible with God. Whether or not God moves in the direction we would like Him to does not determine His ability to do anything and everything. The key words that I chose, I chose two of them. And the first word is the word if. It is the Greek word I meaning a primary particle of conditionality, the ifs in our lives are not conditional when they are answered in Christ. Isn't that good news? Second key word I chose is the word all. It is the Greek word pos. Hey, that might be a neat way to pronounce my last name, pass, pos. <laughs> Just kidding. But the word all is the word whole. It is complete, nothing left out. There's nothing that God cannot do. Don't let your faith be hurt when you don't get your way. God is in control of all the details and his plans are always good because that is who he is. The thought of the day, battling unbelief is key to obtaining God's promises. And the application, confessing our unbelief and repenting for it helps us to adopt faith in areas where we have been prone to doubt God. Dare to believe, friends, that God is able and that he is good all the time. Go with God in his precious word. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of 1 Corinthians.